Hey guys! Doesn't my makeup look so seasonal today? Like, my eyelids are gold, my lips are like dark berry. Like, I'm so excited for the season. Looking forward to the holiday seasons is kind of making me a little bit nostalgic. Every year I get kind of nostalgic around this time and this time I'm thinking a lot about the World K-Pop Festival last year in Cheongwon and it is coming to be festival season. Woo! If you guys didn't know, I just recently performed at the NY K-Pop Fest in NYU at NYU um, a couple, like a week ago or something like that, a week ago. <laughs> but anyways, being there was so cool and so weird and very, very nostalgic because just last year I was one of the contestants myself and then this year I'm there as a special guest performing on the stage and being a judge and it was so cool. As we get closer and closer to world festival season, I'm getting a lot more questions and a lot more, um, hey, can you give us some advice and stuff like that from people all over the world. Hello! <laughs> and so today, I'm here to help you! <laughs> I don't have a list of your questions or anything, so I'm just gonna go off on the things that I feel that you guys should know and uh, off the things that I remember. First off, I've been getting a lot of questions about how voting works. So, I'll walk you through. Simple and easy. Whether you submitted your own video or whether you won your regional K-pop festival and they submitted your video for you, the voting goes exactly the same and it won't be any different or any bit more difficult. So, this is for all of you. For me and the applicants last year, when we put our videos up, the things that we were told counted towards our votes were the actual votes, duh, the views and comments on the video, maybe not the comments, actually just the views on the video, and the producer's note. Like, I don't remember how much each thing, like, I don't know the percentages. Um, I'm sure they'll tell you that stuff. <laughs> the voting works like this. Your video is up on the website with a whole bunch of other talented people's videos who are also up on the website and there's a voting period. They will tell you the voting period, don't be freaked out like when does it start, I don't know. They will tell you the voting period and once the voting period starts it is showtime. You gotta get your friends and your family to vote for you. Last year was a little bit um, because my friends and family had to sign up before voting for me, but signing up only takes about 30 seconds. Honestly, you put in like your name, you make a thing, you know, whatever, and then you just vote. You click vote. If I remember correctly, I think you can only vote once with your email address, and then after that you have to get your friends and family to pass it on. You have to, have to, have to. That is so important, so extremely important. Get your supporters to get on board and pass it on and ask other people to vote for you too, even if they don't know you. They don't need to know you now, they'll know you later. <laughs> That's what I always say. What also goes into voting is the producer's vote, I guess you can call it. I don't remember which percentage it is, but it all depends on, you know, how great your performance was. If the producers love you, that's, you know, a plus for you. And um, yeah, also the view counts on your video are important too. You wouldn't wanna have like, you know, a 100 view, 100 count view, and like, you know, that's not enough. That means you don't have enough votes, right? So the more views, the more votes, the more, the more, the more, the more, the more, the more, the better. <laughs> One question um, that I just recently got was from someone who asked, do we get vocal training when you get um, to be a finalist? The answer to that is not exactly. Vocal training that I assume that you guys think is like, you know, if you get accepted to a company, you get vocal training, right? Like vocal lessons. But that's not what we get. We got to um, meet BAP. You guys will probably get to meet someone else really awesome. I'm so happy we got to meet VAP. Anyway, <laughs> so we got to meet VAP and I, um, my group got vocal training, which is more like um, vocal critique. Uh, you perform for them and they give you their feedback 
and that's basically it. It's very surface level. It's not very in depth. Um, you know, they have they have things that they have to do. They couldn't stick around and give us really in depth training. But to be honest, the critique and the comments and the feedback that you get back from them will be very valuable to you. <laughs> I promise you, because for me it was very, very, very valuable. Um, especially because I love, love, love who my vocal trainers are. And um, hopefully you guys love who your vocal trainers are and your dance trainers are. Oh, that's another thing I guess I should mention. My group got vocal training. Okay, so we had 15 finalists, right? And we were broken up into group A, group B, group C, I believe. And we all got, uh, when we got to go to TS Entertainment, we got different treatments. So group A and group B did vocal training. Group C did dance training. So it's not um, guaranteed that you'll get vocal training or guaranteed that you'll get dance training. It's whatever they decide, you know, to put your group size. And um, yeah, nothing is really guaranteed from last year. It's kind of by chance you get this or by chance you get that. And either way, I'm sure that you'll value everything about it. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Advice. Okay, so one thing that I wish I knew was that the K-Pop World Festival is in October. Well, for my year, it was in October. And um, it's always around that time of year where if you are a student in high school or in college, that will totally mess with your school timeline. <laughs> That was right in the middle of my midterms. It was right in the middle. I literally left on the day of like my piano midterm and then like while I was there, my class was having a jazz midterm in my other class. I was just like, wow, all of my midterms are this week. <laughs> Great. So you either have to take them before you go or after. Let me tell you, either way, I don't know how it'll work for you. For me, it was better to take them beforehand because honestly, afterward, you think that that's a good idea. Like, oh, I could put them off until after. No, that's not a good idea. Don't do it to yourself. Do not do it to yourself. Because guess what? Once you get back from Korea, after all of the crazy, amazing things that you experience and going to um, meet celebrities and get vocal or dance training or going to music shows, you will have forgotten all that you learned in class. So do not take them after. <laughs> Listen to me. Unless you're some amazing person who has like crazy like memory retention, don't do it to yourself. I promise you you will not be happy with yourself, <laughs> okay? Just take them beforehand. You'll remember everything. I'm, I mean, sure, you'll have to take them before your whole class, and you might feel like, oh, now I have to study a little bit harder and get all the information faster and remember it all, but it's, it's really better that way. It's like, you know, coming back from vacation and then taking a test, and then you're like, what you know <laughs> oh I get a lot of questions asking me you know how did I overcome nerves and how did I overcome um, being scared of the crowd to be honest I was not really nervous I felt really calm because I had faith in you know in myself and also I felt covered and I felt so blessed that I was just like this is within itself this is such a blessing so I didn't really feel nervous I felt like I'm so ready to like have fun and just do this so honestly my take on it I I implore you to also take that for yourselves and put that in your hearts you are so so blessed to be in that position to be to have been chosen amongst all these people you are in Korea doing amazing things that people would go insane to do you know those crazy fangirls you know that you are in their position and they're like i wish i wish you know and you just had to feel the blessings and just be happy and try to feel calm because this is your moment and uh whatever happens you still experience an experience of a lifetime find that confidence in all that is you and just radiate 
happiness and radiate love and radiate everything positive and I I'm telling you you will feel the positivity come back you'll feel it I'm excited for you guys I wish 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 I could be there this year like I'm feeling so like nostalgic every time I go to sleep I'm like oh my goodness I just I want to relive these moments they're so amazing please just soak it all in don't waste time being scared or nervous just meet the people who you're with and become friends with them because these friendships you know I still speak to the people who were contestants with me they're still my buds I will never ever 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 forget them like <laughs> you will never forget this experience. Don't be nervous. Enjoy the moment. Live life. Do it up. Believe in yourself. You can do this. Good luck to all those who become finalists. And uh, I'm excited for you. <gasps> this is your moment. Shine. <gasps> I love you guys. Ooh. Talk to you later. Bye. And even if I'm not there to cheer you on from the audience, I'll be cheering once your performance goes up on YouTube. I'm totally there. <laughs>